Welcome to your Feel Good Yoga Flow, a flow that I have designed for you to practice any time of the day, whether you prefer to practice in the morning before you go to work so you can start your day refresh, renew with a sense of well-being, or a flow that you can practice at night before you go to bed so you can wake up the next day full of energy, full of positivity to embrace your day. So let's begin. We're going to start today either on a comfortable seated position, Sukhasana, or you can come to your heels. If this bothers your knees, maybe placing a pillow or a blanket, taking the hands on top of the knees, rolling the shoulders back, lengthening the spine. And we're just going to take a couple of breaths in here so we can start connecting to our feelings, our emotions, connecting to the body. And then start taking deep inhales through the nose. A long and steady exhale through the nose. Taking the tip of the tongue to the bridge of the mouth or behind your teeth, start simulating the sound of the ocean with your breath. Taking a moment here to scan the body from head to toe, releasing any tension where the body feels tight, allowing the energy, the breath to flow through your whole body. Taking one last breath wherever you are. Now bring the arms all the way up to the sky. Gaze up, palms to touch. And then slowly we're going to start opening the arms, coming into cactus, taking a micro back bend here. So lifting up the chest, opening the heart. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. And then slowly on the exhale, we're going to take the hands to the mat, coming into the child's pose. Taking the forehead to the mat, maybe keeping the knees together or opening the knees mat width apart. So walking both hands towards the right, reaching the right arm as far out as you can, and then lifting the chest on the inhale, and on the exhale, we're going to melt the chest towards the mat, placing the forehead on the left arm. We're taking a side stretch in here. And then slowly start walking the hands back to center. And now we're going to walk the hands towards the left side, reaching the left arm a little further than the right. Maybe taking the right hand on top of the left hand. Inhale, lift up, lift up the chest. Exhale, melt the chest towards the mat, placing the forehead on top of the right arm. Taking the hands back to center. Roll yourself up, coming into your tabletop. So make sure that you're stacking the shoulders over the wrists and your hips over the knees. Inhale, look up, shoulders away from the ears, drop the belly. Exhale, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhale down. Exhale, press them at the way, calves. Inhale, come up. 
Take your right leg up. Engage your core, your glutes, your inner thighs. Either point or flex your right toes. And now take your left arm up. Stay connected to your breath, connected to your core. And now take your right leg to the side, left arm to the side. Release the right foot to the mat. So now your foot is in line with the left hip, inhale, lift up the left arm all the way up to the sky, and on the exhale, we're going to thread the needle, taking the left arm under the right arm. From here, you can stay, maybe you take the right arm around the back to grab your left inner thigh. Stay connected to your breath. Letting go any expectations, any judgment. Allowing every breath to bring you to the present moment. Release the bind. Take your right hand back to the mat. Sweep your left arm up all the way up to the sky. And then slowly bring it down. Pick up the right foot off the mat, kick it all the way back, bend the knee, left arm reaches back, wrap the foot, coming into your tiger pose, look up. Release, and now bring it down. Other side, bring your left foot up, engage your core, your inner thigh, your glute, either point or flex your left toes, raise your right arm. Strong core in here. Now take it to this side. With control, release the left foot to the mat. So your foot is in line with the left hip. We're gonna reach the right arm all the way up to the sky. Look at the right fingertips, inhale. And on the exhale, thread the needle, taking the right arm under the left arm. So the right shoulder is resting on the mat. Maybe taking the left arm around the back to grab the right inner thigh. Take your last breath in here. And now take your left hand back to the mat, reach the right arm all the way up to the sky on the inhale. And on the exhale, bring it down. Pick up the left foot off the mat, take it back, bend the knee, reach for the foot, kick into your hand, tie your pose, and release. Coming into your puppy pose, we're going to start walking the hands forward. And just make sure that your hips remain in place. You don't want your hips to be walking with your hands. You want your hips to stay all the way up. Maybe start melting the chest towards the mat. Sinking the chest down, opening your heart, breathing into your lower back. Releasing any tension on the lower back. Take one more breath in here. Feel free to bend the elbows, taking your hands to prayer. And then slowly press yourself up and come flat on the mat. Coming into your sphinx pose. 
So make sure that your shoulders are away from the ears. Your thighs are pressing towards the mat. Engage your shoulders. Lift up through your chest. Opening your heart. Elongating the neck. Relaxing the face, the eyes, the lips. Breathing into your lower back. shoulders stack up the elbows. So we're going to open the shoulders by threading the needle. So the right arm goes under the left arm as far out as you can. And now take your left arm towards the right, placing the head on top of the left arm, reaching both arms to opposite sides, opposite direction. Slowly unwind, coming all the way up. So now we're going to do the other side, reaching both arms on opposite directions as far out as you can, and resting the forehead on top of the top arm. Slowly unwind, come all the way up. Start straining the arms, open the heart, taking a back bending here. Once again, shoulders away from the ears. Slightly engage your glutes. Walk the heads a little closer and just keep pressing the mat away. Breathing into your lower back and just make sure that you're not sinking down onto your lower back. You want to lift up through your spine, through your chest. And then slowly we're going to release, taking the hands by the side. So now take your hands closer to your chest, maybe a little bit further down, so your hands are by the ribs. Make sure that your elbows are facing back, so your arms should be on a 90 degree angle. We're going to take a deep breath in and then slowly on the exhale, we're going to press the mat away and we're going to come into a cook. Keep pressing the shoulders away from the ears. And then slowly we're going to bend the elbows, taking the chest back to the mat. Coming flat on the mat. You're going to come into a happy baby, so take your feet all the way up to the sky. Bend the knees, grab the outside of your feet. Bend the elbows so your knees and your elbows are facing out. Maybe rocking side to side or finding stillness. So you massage your lower back. Breathing here for three, two, one. 
bring the sole of the feet together, pressing the feet towards the hands. Knees are facing out. We relax the shoulders, the neck, and the face, and we make sure that the whole upper body is relaxed and flat on the mat. Feeling the stretch on the inner thighs, the points, the hips. And we're breathing here for three, two, one. And we send the legs all the way up, sweeping the arms to the side. And from here, you can start making circles with your feet. If you have a block, a poster, maybe a pillow, you can place it under your hips. You can also take this close to a wall if that feels better. Maybe taking the arms all the way up too and just making circles with the wrist. Going in different directions. Now bend the knees, give yourself a hug, bring the forehead towards the knees, around the spine, and then slowly we release. We release both knees towards the right, keeping the left shoulder grounded on the mat, looking over the left shoulder for a gentle twist. Engage your core and bring both knees all the way up. And now we release the knees towards the left and we look over the right shoulder and we make sure that the right shoulder is grounded on the mat. Bring the knees all the way back and up. And now we're gonna take the feet all the way to the front of the mat, coming into our final Shavasana, where you can take it into your Sukta Bhada Konasana by bending the knees, taking the sole of the feet together, knees are facing out, either taking the left hand to the heart, right hand to the belly, and just take it a moment here to surrender, to let go. Taking this moment to thank yourself for showing up to your mat today, for taking care of your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit. Knowing that you can come back to your mat, to this class, to your practice, anytime you need to, in order to connect to your breath, to connect to your body, to connect to your intention. And a friendly reminder that you're beautiful the way you are, that you're strong, that you're fearless, you're brave, you're worthy, you are enough, and you're unstoppable.